Why, hello everybody. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to Psychonauts. This is very special to me. This, like, for a long time, for many years, this is the game that I would tell people was my favorite one when I was asked, because it is just, gosh, it's so good. This game has meant a lot to me for many years, and it seems like a really good time to revisit it for two reasons. One, we're almost coming up on the 15-year uh, anniversary of this thing. Uh, two, a sequel is meant to be coming out uh, in 2020, and that seems like a good reason to revisit this thing, so let's just go ahead and do it. I have a lot to say about this game because I love it for a whole ton of reasons. Um, I will be talking your ear off about that throughout this playthrough. I hope that's okay. Let's start a new game here. I mean, f even from the start. What a good title menu. I mean, not easy to navigate or anything, but it's fun. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, start new game, continue or load it. Yeah, okay. Start new game. Let's do this thing. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? 
Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Man, I love this game. This is gonna be fun. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Oh my goodness, we're doing it. And the crickets are so loud. <laughs> uh, that, that intro, so I played this back when it first came out, and that intro sold me instantly. I think I rented a copy of the game to try it out, played for like an hour, immediately drove back out to buy a copy, because I was like, this is my thing, 100%. Um, let's choose a profile slash bunk. <laughs> uh, I love, you, you've got... The kid who's just sort of hanging out, the kid who's <laughs> doing push-ups, and the kid who's just crying at camp. It feels so true. Okay. Uh, let's hang out with Dogen here. Um, Raz, sure. This is gonna be a good time. down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you rugs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! <laughs> I love how the crickets just cut out instantly. <laughs> uh, I love this game. I'm probably going to say that a few more times. Sorry. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Great voice acting, too. Okay. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. You got it. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. 
If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a Psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Uh, to change your camera preferences, press start and open your journal and select options from the first page. You got it. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Hang on, let me do a thing real fast before we continue. Uh, right, use the thing to navigate the journal. Uh, let's see, usually I prefer to do this before the game starts, but I didn't have a way to do it outside of the game itself. And I know some for some of you this is uh, a lot easier to follow along with. So, subtitles on. And... okay. I heard this one time a kid was late for basic braiding and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue, but the kid had just drank a six pack of soda and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. <laughs> Hi, what's the rush? Don't want to be late. Coach has anger management issues. Ah, uh, well we shouldn't be late either, but we are going to be because there's stuff to see and do in here. So for those of you who have never played Psychonauts before, which it, this has kind of become a cult hit, so it's I just always assume everyone has seen it. But for those of you who haven't, this is sort of an old school uh, 3D platformer. Uh, not completely a collectathon, but it has a lot of those sort of Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie elements in there. Uh, sort of mashed up though with an old school adventure game, like the old school Lucas Arts variety, because it was created by some of the same people. Uh, but let's see here. One of my favorite things about this uh, game, and I'm going to show you some examples in a second here, is that in, in addition to the main storyline that you're following along with here in Psychonauts, uh, all of the different campers, there's like a dozen or more of them at this camp, and they've all got their own like personalities and their own little stories that are happening kind of on the side <laughs> throughout the uh, main game, and you can kind of follow along with their little stories as you just wander around camp discovering them and seeing what they're up to. So, uh, I don't know. What's Dogen doing? I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never... kill everyone. Oh! Hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. <laughs> uh, I love every one of these characters so much. Well. Don't upset Dogen then. Uh, here, we gotta collect some of these things throughout the game. Congratulations, you found a loose Psy card. Collect nine of these and you can build a Psy challenge marker out of them. But you'll need to get a Psy core from the camp store and a little help from Ford Cruller. Got it. Uh, we also need these. These are sort of our currency. Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of Cytanium, a rare psycho-reactive material, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. So we're gonna be wanting to collect those as we go. Just plucking them out of the ground. We will have other means of collecting them faster later on, but uh, for the time being, it's just sort of a thing that you idly do as you run around. Like, oh, here's one on the ground. Gimme. Perfect. There's also, I think... Oh yeah. Another one of these cards. Also some more friends. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Uh... Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. No time for chit-chat, James. We're late for class. Hi. 
What's the rush? I don't want to get a bad seat. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. We got some other ones over here, I think. You there. Hmm. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's going to be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Oh boy, we all knew that kid. Hey, watch out! Someone's coming! Tell them to find their own hole! <laughs> uh, here's a couple others. Let's see. Uh, that has got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever! And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. No way. Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, please, would you please welcome? No, the fire starters. Oh man, <sighs> if we're gonna call it that, we might as well call it burning itch. What? <laughs> Settle down, no fires. Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said, you feeling itchy? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a block. That's why we're friends. Oh, you're right. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. And why we should call the band the Levitators. Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators. Hmm. Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Levitators. Well, I'll leave them to their argument. I think there's another friend out here. Somewhere. Yep, there we go. Hello. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bear's much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. So another fun thing we'll, is... We'll find you. <laughs> another fun thing is that uh, in addition to, like, finding uh, these characters and overhearing their little uh, conversations and seeing what's going on with them, you can interact with them with most of your abilities, and they all, like, respond to them. Like, one such ability, a little psychic punch. Oh, oh thanks for offer, but only want to fight bear today. <laughs> And all their responses are like tied to their character, and ah, uh, it's all real good. Nah, -uh. the rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get. All right, fine. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else we got to do, other than grab some stuff. Of course, gonna need these things for upgrades. No, don't slide. <laughs> Ah. So the, uh, the comedy and the creativity of this setting is really the main draw. Like, as a platformer, it's alright, it's got its moments. As a combat ga action game, it's, um, mediocre, <laughs> generally. But, uh... Fire starters. Levitators. <laughs> but, uh, oh, hey, you. Ugh. 
<laughs> Quit it, Bobby. I know that's you. Jerk. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be good. Let's see. Now let's go up to class. I can't stall forever. Sounds like it's dangerous to do so. Boing. What a neat looking game too, right? It's really neat visual style. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Uh, so good. Uh, your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load progress, change your options. There's a hand. There's a helpful map in the back. Uh, cool. All right. So it looks like everybody is in class now. They seem to all be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. Hmm. What about you? They seem to all be okay, in a same. While they Okay, no, stop. Raz. Project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. Uh, and they're all doing it with like their own little animation too. That's great. Well, not all exactly their animation, own animation. It looks like some of them are like sharing, like Elka here and oh, I forget his name. Now we'll find out later. Uh, let's see. Also, you. Sure, it'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. Can't tell if she's pretending to participate in class or if she's just very good at jumping in and out. But anyway, wait, what are you doing back here? Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Okay. Whoa. How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz, I'm working. Hey, uh, <laughs> Chloe? Go away, Raz, I'm working. This game's the best. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It will be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? <laughs> no, we are ready. I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. See, this is so inventive. I love this premise. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. <laughs> a mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. 
<laughs> uh. Come on. You gonna punch him? No way. You do it. And a second here. I want to look at some of these posters. I You're want not you. Gonna get another chance like this. I guarantee it. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Nice. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go. Okay. Charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, press A to jump. Boing. Eh. Move, move, move. I'm going. All right, double jumps. There we go. Oop. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They hope you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. Who's coach's little piggy? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Alrighty. Your first figment, collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you'll earn new psychic abilities. Exciting. Uh, you can look at all the figments you've collected in your journal. So there's like a hundred of these in each mind world. Th these are the, the levels in Psychonauts. You go in different people's minds, and each of the levels is themed after the mind and mentality of the person whose mind you've entered, which is just such a really smart, cool idea. Uh, so yeah. And you can see the figments are themed after the uh, the character too. Like there's more of them down there, and they're all like battlefield, like war tech type thing. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh. We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Well, let's go <laughs> looking for a tag for this emotional baggage. I think that's it over there. Boing. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. All right, got the tag. Erg. Here we go. <laughs> so cute. I love that little jingle. Okay, back to the obstacle course. Let's get some figments. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Will do. That's a good ladder climbing animation. I love that. He's got some good character. All right. Slide. <laughs> Let's get some more stuff. Ooh, another tag. All right. More figments. I'm not going to be all, like, completionist in this playthrough or anything. That would be kind of a pain in the butt for us all. But uh, I will grab what I can. Don't want to miss any good things. Onward and upward, soldier. Especially any good jokes. All right. Watch out! Fire down below! Okay. Whoa, now. Slide. Okay. Also some great music in this game. Uh, composed by Peter McConnell, who uh, uh, Tim Schafer tends to like working with a lot. Uh, so, like, uh, Grim Fandango, Monkey Island stuff. I think he did Monkey Island. He also did uh, the Hearthstone soundtrack, which is real good. supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. 
That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa! <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. I love her. <laughs> okay. Back to the obstacle course now. And gosh, these voice performances for all these characters are so good. Ah. Whoa. Found a little, um, shortcut passage. Not right this second, though. Hang on. It's game day, kid. Where was that? That was a little hole back there. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Maybe later. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Climbing. Nope. Climbing. There we go. Gather some figments and continue our journey. I'm waiting for the thing. Shut up. Uh, oh. Ah, I missed the figment. That's fine. Arrgh. Love how bouncy this thing is. Boing. <laughs> Gimme. There we go. Oh, come on. By the way, for those of you who are interested in playing this yourself, um, I just got through testing a whole bunch of uh, ports and versions like of this game. Uh, I just tested a whole bunch of versions of this game to see which one would be ideal for, uh, for, uh, doing for this, uh, playthrough. And, uh, I've settled on, I think, the best version of Psychonauts currently out there to play is the, uh, Xbox One compatibility, backwards compatibility version. Oh, we got a shimmy. Okay. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Is your name Joey? No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. But yeah, so like, so the original, this originally launched on the, uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation, hey, rank up, nice. The uh, PlayStation 2 version had a lot of audio, uh, like, sync bug issues, and unfortunately the, um, upward, soldier. the, oh, do we have to tag for this one? Yes, perfect. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, PS2 version and all of the later PlayStation ports of it are, and like backwards compatibility uh, releases all have those same bugs, which is kind of a bummer. So those are out. Uh, the original Xbox version worked really well and uh, would probably be the version I'd recommend in general if it weren't for the fact that it's just going to look pretty bad on a modern TV. Uh, Xbox 360 has backwards compatibility. Uh, Xbox 360's backwards compatibility works, but the backwards compatibility on it is, uh, like, the emulation they're running to make that work is a little shabby in my experience. Like, especially in cutscenes, you get a lot of hitching and screen tearing and just stuff that looks kind of bad. Load times aren't great either. Um, Xbox One's backward compatibility, which is what I'm on, okay, <laughs> which is what I'm on now, like, it bumps the resolution up, so it's looking pretty nice. Be nice, I'm talking to people. Um, but the, uh, whoa, no, okay. Hang on, I want that figment. But yeah, like, Xbox One backwards compatibility, which is what I'm doing right now, works really well, uh, plays nicely, doesn't have any of the audio bugs that I was hearing in the PlayStation stuff, and, uh, yeah, I, I think... You can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it. I'm doing it. Like a monkey. Oh, look at me climb. <laughs> a good motivational speaking. Uh, now... Hey, slow down, kid. If you pass me or Bobby, you'll make us look bad, and Bobby will pound you deaf. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Don't leave me alone out here, Bobby. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. Uh, a little stooge. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, Dogen. What 
Watch those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. <laughs> How's it going, Dogan? Hey, Dogan. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Uh, you know what? Follow me. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. <laughs> uh, I love Dogan. All right. Let's see if we can sneak through the mines. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogan. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> uh, come on, Dogan. Very carefully. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Just follow. Kevin. Careful. Careful. I can't do it. I can't do now, it. I don't check it out on me. Yes, you can, Dogan. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> Come on. We're halfway there. Careful little steps. With your huge feet. Just look at that character design. <laughs> so good. Come on, bud. I can't do it. We're at the finish I line. Can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogan. Just follow me. Okay. Move it. There you go. You Move. did it. Raz, I didn't explode at all. Good <laughs> hustle out there. Hey. Um, this is for helping me out. Oh, hey, bye. Up, board, soldier. Oh. This is a psychic arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. So basically the same as finding the titanium arrowheads outside the world. Um, give it here. Thank you. I should grab... Eh. Yeah. At least grab a couple of these. Carefully. Carefully. Okay. Watch the mines. Uh, there was one more. Ah, you know what? Forget it. Not being completionist and not blowing up. Let's raise the flag. To save your progress, press... I'll do it later. Yeah, all right. You're like molasses going uphill in January. With crutches. He's so mean. Ooh. Huh. The plane's going down, soldier. Hit that door and Geronimo. Hey, no one told me to pack a chute. Did Washington have a chute when he crossed the Delaware? <laughs> Well, I guess we're all going to die. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. My first memory is of my dog, Lady. Lady and I used to go for long walks. They would go on and on and on and on. I love this character. This one time, we went on a walk we call the longest walk of all time. First, we went to the end of our street. And then we turned a soft right, and then we had a snack. <laughs> and then we took a side road, and then we turned left. So this and is a system the that they built into this game uh, to enable a, uh, a whole bunch, like they have a whole bin and of lines that this character can say, but it's randomizing which ones are getting pulled in. Shoe, they use this for a lot of characters later on. That lady had Especially for characters who ramble, like Vernon here. Then we turned a deep left, <laughs> and then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. <laughs> and then we walked half. It's a good video game. And then, and then I gave Lady a bone. Goodbye, Vernon. <laughs> All right, let's jump. So far, so good. Hey, look! It's Raz! Yay! Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game! We can't do it! Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins! Yay! Raz! Just punch that to start! Okay. Uh, jump and punch to activate button. Will do. Yeah! You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Ooh, I love those. Uh, target course, points needed, 20. Time given, 60 seconds. You won't receive any points for hitting friendly targets. So, okay, hit the little soldier things and don't hit the little baby things. Got it. Yeah. And punch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it. 
my good little cheerleaders. No. Come on. We're doing pretty good here. Hey! Now here's your reward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Let's see. I think I can do that again to do like a challenge mode for higher for prizes and stuff, but eh. Some of the time. Let's see. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. The enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. Ooh, okay. Let's do that thing. So yeah, every all the characters, all the minds you go into have little vaults like this, and you, if you want to find out some of their little secrets, uh, you can, uh, bust these open. So let's see. Punch. Punch! Ah, good. Oleander's Pride. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, his wartime memories. <laughs> Quite the war hero in, uh, yep. A war hero in what seems to be every single branch of the military. <laughs> Navy as well. All right. Sure. Wow. You did everything. You and to view this memory again, check out the memories page in your journal. Okay. Enjoy that. One of my favorites. <laughs> uh, something that seemed a little suspicious about that, but, uh, hmm. Maybe we'll find out more later. Uh, oh, you can use these little fellas to teleport throughout the level, which is handy when you're coming back later and trying to find all the figments and such. Whoop. Camera. Easy does it. Uh, let me smack this thing. Okay. Nice. Oop, we are under fire. Okay, we're gonna have to go from cover to cover, I think. I think? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, as I was saying before, right, the uh, backwards compatibility stuff. So, the Xbox One version... No, sorry. Uh, you've just absorbed positive mental health. Maintaining your mental health is important, because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral projection in this mind, and you will be kicked back out into the real world. Okay, which is sort of the death condition sort of <laughs> quote unquote but yeah so xbox one backwards compatible version of psychonauts best one i've encountered yet not the xbox one x mind you because for some reason on the xbox one x backwards compatibility on psychonauts does not work at all so so yeah you just need this particular version of the xbox one to play the best current version of psychonauts now some of you might be like wondering why i'm not saying the pc version because there is a pc version of this on steam and hey we did the thing <laughs> It's a different animation for every different kind of baggage. I love it. So the PC version is not a great port. It does come with some pluses, like uh, if you want to, it's the only way to play the game at uh, 60 frames per second and with uh, widescreen and such, but it comes with its own list of uh, bugs and, ugh, that was close. <laughs> comes with its own bugs. Uh, I've encountered some audio bugs in that one. And also like, a lot of the shots in the game weren't originally composed for widescreen, so they end up looking kind of not great. And cutscene playback is also like stretched to fit widescreen and zoomed in on. It just doesn't really, I don't know. Like there are some visual upgrades. It is also nice like in high resolution, but uh, I think it ends up like looking a little bit worse despite some of that higher, like a uh, higher fidelity stuff. Really what this game really needs is a proper remaster at some point. So I'm hoping we'll eventually get that. But uh, in the meantime, it is my opinion that the, uh, yeah, the Xbox One backwards compatibility is the best version currently. It has its own issues as well, but let's get in there. Oh, hi, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, he was the one shooting at us. <laughs> I guess. Whoa. Cool. All right, let's raise the flag. We're doing so good at the obstacle course. <laughs> Whoa. Give me that. Give me this. Oh, ah. Didn't get my jump input. That's fine. There we go. Again, not the best 
3D platformer in the world, but it's serviceable. And it enables a whole lot of good jokes and fun story. Which is more than enough for me. I mean, the visual theming on all this has been really fun too, right? Grab poles like that and swing on them. Alright. It's all about upper body strength, you know? <laughs> I love that uh, a lot of Raz's traversal options uh, are kind of tied to his character. He's like he ran away from the circus <laughs> to go to psychic camp. So he's a little ac acrobat. It's so good. But yeah, so for those of you who don't know the story of Psychonauts, uh, it came out on the uh, on the Xbox, like I said before. And it bombed. <laughs> Had a troubled development, uh, and then came out and sold horribly. It has since, uh, like, been ported to a whole lot of stuff, as <laughs> as I was talking about before. And uh, I think it has, like, it has since turned into a cult hit. It's probably made a healthy profit at this point. But, uh, yeah. In its day, didn't do super good. Kind of spelled the, uh, the end for, uh, the publisher, the original publisher, Majesco. Specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. Yeah, there's some collectibles like these that we will not be able to get until later, which is a little inconvenient. We'll have to like come back to this level with a later items we get, but that's fine. Not a huge deal. Alright, here we go. Uh boing. Okay, some of these jumps can be a little tricky. <laughs> Eh, give me that. Oop, careful. Nope. Okay, here we go. And... Up. Yes. There we go. Now let me in. As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. <laughs> uh... But this game was extremely, like, exciting and special to me when it came out. Hang on, I want to collect these things. Because there's nothing else like this. Especially at its time. Like, this came out in 2005. The 360 was coming out later that year, I think. Uh, so it was on the tail end of the uh, PS2, Xbox, GameCube console generation. And the industry, like, the indie, indie game scene had not taken off yet. Like, it was, it was early on still at that time you weren't seeing tons of like small create like creative exciting indie titles like we have now it was really just kind of the triple a industry for the most part and the trip oh, let's see click the right stick in to enter first person camera mode oh neat okay cool and the triple a industry at large was not doing wild creative stuff like this like uh this was the age like we were about to start getting into kind of like that uh gears of war age there was stuff like a Halo was big. Uh, Call of Duty was starting to uh, become a big deal. Uh, yeah, it was just the, like the. This was a really unique kind of game at that time. And it just made me really excited seeing a game just with that kind of sheer creativity. Hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. <laughs> like, th this was a really uh, influential game for me uh, as I was uh, like kind of going to college and. Figuring out what I wanted to do. Hey! Let's see. Use this with A to switch rails. This look, platformer platformers just loved doing this <laughs> in this era. <laughs> ah, sucker. Rail See grinding. Big fan of rail grinding back in the day. Which 3D platformer started this? Was it Sonic? Or was this a Ratchet thing? Maybe it was Ratchet. I cannot remember. Does anyone remember? Someone tell me if you remember. Take the line, sucker. Get out of here. <laughs> you missed punk. I cannot be stopped. But yeah, this game is a big deal to me. Really important to me. And like... To, as an animator as well, like, uh, this has a really unique animation style to it that, like, I really loved. Ah, the old rolling tunnel of 
crazy long spit. An old one, but a hard one. <laughs> what you gotta do is. <laughs> ah, who are we kidding? You're never gonna make it through that. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I am so gonna make it. Eventually. But yeah, like, Psychonauts games uh, have a really... tend to have a really unique animation style to them that I really dig. Uh, I don't know where it originated from. I'm guessing the, uh, the guy who's sort of like their lead animator, whose name is escaping me and I feel bad about that. Uh, I'm guessing this is like a style that he sort of spearheaded. It's probably like kind of his animation style somewhat, but... Uh, they do this thing that's very similar to 2D television animation, where the characters, like, hit key poses and hold on those poses for a really long time. Which you don't usually see in 3D. Sometimes you see it in 3D television animation, but, uh... Like, it's really... it's a really efficient way to, uh... animate a, a bit more on the cheap. Hey, we make it? I think we made it. We win! Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Hmm. Anything over here? No? But yeah, I'll talk more about the animation a bit later, but like... All that to say... Very influential, important game to me, as I've already said. And I should really stop saying. Because this has got to be getting tedious. There, son. Now, just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. <laughs> you surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Yeah. We've completed basic braining. <laughs> but I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. <laughs> this game's the best. Way to make us look bad in there. And you are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh. Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. And Raz is holding an object in his hand. To use a handheld object with someone, walk up to them and press Y. This is another great thing about this game. So, like I said, this has a lot of DNA from kind of like uh, old school LucasArts adventure games. And a thing that was like made some of those games special, uh, well, there's a quote from Ron Gilbert, who is sort of like the creative lead on Monkey Island, who said, like, anytime you've like give your player four different dialogue options, that's four different opportunities to tell a different joke which I really love, like, which is what makes those games so fun. And Psychonauts does the sa a similar sort of thing where 
you got all these different characters with different personalities, and you have different ways of interacting with them. You can show them items in your inventory, you can use your different psychic abilities on them, and every single one of those uses will almost always result in a unique bit of dialogue. And all the dialogue in this game is great, so like, it's really rewarding and fun to find all that stuff. For example, let's show this button to Oleander. You know where this button is from, Coach? Hey! You stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't! I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me! Nice. Should've known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. Well, go put it back! Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right. Yes, sorry. Hmm, okay, so let's see to the map on this page You can see what you've collected in the current area Make sure to come back here after you've collected some figments so you can look at them up close with the figment viewer option Okay, nice. This page shows you how you're doing in the bigger scheme of things. Also, once you get your scavenger hunt list This is where you'll keep it nifty uh, This page automatically remembers what task you're working on if you ever unsure what to do next come back here to jog your memory Oh, excellent. We got to complete Sasha's advanced training uh, once you've cracked open a mental vault, you'll store the memories you find in here. Come back and watch them as many times as you like. Alright, so we got the Whispering... Oh, so you can watch, like, the cutscenes and stuff again. The Whispering Rock cutscene, and, uh... Let's see... We've got the... Bobby and Lily. Oh, this, that was a cutscene we saw earlier, and this is the, uh, the reel we saw of Oleander's War Memories. But apparently there's some other ones to be found in his world, I'm assuming? We'll find out. Uh, and also, this handy map shows you the layout of the camp. Your position is marked with an arrow. The next place you should go is marked with a crosshair. If you ever feel like you don't know where to go, come on back and check out your map. Fantastic. So that's where we're trying to head to, more or less. But there's lots of stuff to find. Lots of little uh, stories and goofs and jokes with other characters. So we will come back and do that tomorrow, next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are looking forward to this Psychonauts playthrough as much as I am looking forward to doing it. Whatever. Y'all have yourselves a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.